Yeah, just because we have a slow start, it doesn't mean that things are going to remain slow for the entire season, right? That's exactly right. And I, I look through, uh, I look at hurricanes over time, longer term changes, and you can't look at any hurricane season nowadays without looking at it through the lens of climate change, because the oceans are just warmer all around the world. And that means more fuel for these storms and more intense winds, more more intensification earlier on in the storm and so or right before it makes landfall so we have a lot of factors that make this hurricane season different from what we've been used to in the past and we're looking at the sahara dust layer too we always talk about that but it's it's really becoming a focus sharply over the last several years just because we our satellite imagery it picks it up so well and, and people have locked onto it it makes these vivid sunsets and sunrises what about the sahara dust layer right now is it about on cue where we should be and why does that affect the entire basin yeah, I think the Sahara dust is interesting and it, it reminds us of how connected we are to other continents. We're not just isolated here in the in the um, the US. So it can suppress storms early in the season and maybe that's what it's what it's doing now. But again, with climate change in the background, these patterns that we're used to seeing can start to behave a little bit un, unpredictably because our entire global climate system is changing from the increased carbon pollution that we're putting into the air. So uh, yes, the Saharan dust is maybe putting a little damper on the storms right now. Um, but again, when that dust settles, uh, the activity can really quick, uh, can really pick up quickly. Yeah, it's, it's what we always hope that it just sticks around. It was, was that the reason why you think that we, we had sort of a lull last season during the peak, uh, what was it, mid-September? Was it because of the dust where you didn't see much going on and then it really got backloaded towards the end of the season? It could be. Again, this is the the seasons we're seeing now are just different than they've been in the past. We've had cycles where it gets to be more active, less active, but we've had many years of very intense hurricane activity now coming up on about a decade. So this whole period mm -hmm. is quite active. So I would take extra preparations this year. Also, we have extreme budget cuts to FEMA and NOAA. And so we don't have potentially as many reconnaissance missions going into those stores. We have storms. We have fewer weather balloons being launched, so less radio sound. We have fewer people manning the computers. And so we're at a disadvantage this year in being prepared. So that means individuals need to take more responsibility for getting themselves ready. Even though it might seem early right now, it might seem quiet. Now is a great time to be planning ahead. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the biggest takeaway, right? You always need to be prepared. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. Give me a little bit of your time. I appreciate it. Dr. Marlin, thank you very thank much for being on Fox Weather. Thanks.